Mid-sized trucks have been gaining significant traction and becoming a favorite for U.S. truck buyers. They're versatile and balanced functionality with everyday use and style. It also helps that they are more affordable than big pickup trucks like the F-150. However, a recent study has shed light on potential safety concerns with mid-sized pickup trucks. Today, we will take a look at this discovery to see if it's anything to worry about or just some number crunchers being overly cautious. The IIHS recently platformed a series of tests to determine the safety of some vehicles. IIHS is an acronym for Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, and it is an independent, non-profit organization dedicated to reducing the number of deaths, injuries, and property damage resulting from motor vehicle crashes. It was established in 1959 and is based in the United States. The primary focus of the IIHS is to conduct research and provide scientific data to promote improvements in vehicle and highway safety. They evaluate and rate vehicles based on their crashworthiness and crash avoidance and mitigation technologies. The ratings provided by the IIHS are widely recognized and influential in the automotive industry. The IIHS conducts various types of tests to assess vehicle safety. One of the most well-known tests is the frontal crash test, where a vehicle is crashed into a barrier to evaluate how well it protects occupants. They also conduct side crash tests, rollover tests, tests and evaluate the effectiveness of safety features such as seat belts, airbags, and collision avoidance systems. In a recent series of comprehensive tests conducted by the IIHS, concerning findings have emerged regarding the safety performance of popular mid-sized trucks. The focus of the study was to evaluate the ability of these vehicles to protect rear seat passengers in fronting collisions. Unfortunately, the results have been rather disappointing. Some of the five mid-sized trucks subjected to rigorous testing are the Chevy Colorado, Ford Ranger, Jeep Gladiator, Nissan Frontier, and Toyota Tacoma. Not a single one of these trucks managed to get the highest rating of good in the assessment. This outcome raises concerns about the overall safety capabilities of mid-sized trucks and their capacity to ensure the well-being of rear seat occupants in the event of frontal impact. The test revealed that mid-sized trucks encounter significant difficulties when it comes to providing effective protection to passengers seated in the rear. Among the five Five pickups examined, only the Nissan Frontier managed to secure an acceptable rating. Unfortunately, the remaining four mid-sized trucks, the Ford Ranger, Chevrolet Colorado, Jeep Gladiator, and Toyota Tacoma fell short in terms of safety performance, receiving lower ratings. The Ford Ranger received a marginal rating, while the Chevrolet Colorado, Jeep Gladiator, and Toyota Tacoma all received poor ratings. Using data from their tests in 2022, the IIHS concluded that the risk of fatal injuries following a collision is higher for belted occupants in the rear of the truck rather than for those seated up front. The discrepancy in safety outcomes is not because there is a sudden reduction in the safety of the back seats of these cars. Rather, it can be attributed to the fact that significant improvements, such as enhanced airbags and advanced seatbelt systems, have been predominantly implemented in the front seats of these vehicles. The focus on front seat safety advancements has outpaced the development of comparable safety features in the rear seats. As a result, rear occupants face a higher risk of injuries in the event of a collision, despite being properly belted. The key issue identified in the test was the lack of protection provided to rear seat occupants during front-end collisions. In the case of the Chevrolet Colorado, Nissan Frontier, Ford Ranger, and Toyota Tacoma, the restraints in the back seat of these mid-sized trucks allowed the rear crash test dummy's head to come dangerously close to the front seat back. The proximity raises concerns about the potential for head or neck injuries to rear passengers in the event of a collision. However, it's worth noting that the Jeep Gladiator fared better in this aspect, as its rear restraints managed to maintain a safer distance between the rear passenger's head and the front seat back. Despite the Gladiator's relative success in preventing close contact between the rear dummy's head and the front seat back, it does have a drawback. The Gladiator doesn't have a side curtain air bag for the rear passengers. This omission increases the risk of injury from a hard impact with the interior of the vehicle or even objects outside the vehicle, which could pose a significant safety concern in certain crash scenarios. In the case of the Ford Ranger, the rear crash test dummy experienced a phenomenon known as submarining, 
where the dummy slid underneath the lap belt. As a result, the lap belt moved from the ideal position on the pelvis to the abdomen. This improper positioning of the lap belt increases the risk of internal injuries, potentially affecting the abdomen and internal organs. Also, injury measurements taken from the rear crash test dummy indicated a moderate or likely risk of both neck and chest injuries in the poorly rated Chevrolet Colorado, Jeep Gladiator, and Toyota Tacoma. IIHS President David Harkey emphasized the need for improvement, stating that the rear seatbelts need enhancements to ensure better safety outcomes. In his own words, a common problem was that the rear passenger dummy's head came dangerously close to the front seat back, and in many cases, dummy measurements indicated a risk of neck or chest injuries. All these injuries tell us that the rear seat belts need improvement. Despite the concerning findings regarding rear seat passenger safety in mid-sized trucks, the IIHS still maintains that the rear seat remains the safest place for young children. This is primarily because young children can be vulnerable to injury from the forceful deployment of airbags in the front seats, which are designed to protect adult occupants. The IIHS has introduced new testing standards to evaluate the safety of mid-sized trucks. In order for these trucks to receive a coveted good rating, they must meet specific criteria. One crucial aspect is the absence of excessive risk of injury to the rear passenger's head, neck, chest, and thigh during a crash. The crash test dummies used in the evaluations should stay in the correct seated position without sliding forward under the seatbelt, a phenomenon referred to as submarining. Furthermore, the rear passenger's head should maintain a safe distance from the front seat back, as well as other parts of the truck's interior to minimize the risk of impact-related injuries. These stringent standards highlight the importance of ensuring that mid-sized trucks provide effective protection and minimize the risk of injury for rear seat passengers. By adhering to these guidelines, manufacturers can improve the safety performance of their vehicles and provide consumers with peace of mind. While the recent tests on mid-sized trucks raise concerns about rear seat passenger safety, it's worth highlighting that these trucks did receive good ratings for front seat protection. This is a positive aspect for potential buyers, as it indicates that manufacturers have made significant strides in ensuring the safety of occupants seated in the front of these vehicles. Manufacturers have implemented effective safety measures to mitigate the risk of injuries in these situations. However, the focus should now shift toward improving safety for rear seat passengers and addressing specific areas of vulnerability identified in the tests. However, the data obtained from these tests did reveal some areas of concern. Specifically, it indicated that drivers of the Jeep Gladiator and Toyota Tacoma may have a higher risk of leg or foot injury in the event of a collision. Automakers can look to aim for the highest rating awarded by the IAHS, the Top Safety Pick Plus designation. This is the rating awarded to vehicles that show exceptional performance in various crash tests and the availability of advanced safety features. The IIHS works closely with another organization called the Highway Loss Data Institute, HLDI. While the IIHS focuses on vehicle safety, the HLDI specializes in analyzing insurance data to understand the impact of different factors on the frequency and severity of insurance claims. Overall, the IIHS plays a crucial role in improving road safety by conducting research, providing vehicle ratings, and advocating for safer vehicles and roadways. Its efforts have contributed to significant advancements in vehicle safety over the years and continue to shape the automotive industry's commitment to protecting occupants and reducing injuries in motor vehicle crashes. By using the data obtained from these tests, manufacturers can gain valuable insights into the areas that require improvement. These insights can guide them in developing enhanced safety features and technologies, such as improved seat belts, airbag systems, and structural reinforcements to better protect rear seat occupants in mid-sized trucks. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.